Welcome back to another video. Now, I needed to buy this game spontaneously because I see it like everywhere and I think that it looks so amazing. So therefore, I want to welcome all of you guys to the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight and the same creators that created games like Until Dawn. I don't know if you've played those games before. I haven't done that yet for some reason. <laughs> I don't know really why, but uh, maybe I will one day, I don't really know. But at least we're going to try this game right now, and I'm really looking forward to it. It's a cinematic horror experience where you actually, you, you, you can actually choose your own faith. And everything that you, like all the options you choose throughout the story, will affect the story. And I'm not the smartest guy on earth. So I don't know if my choices are going to be the best ones, but I mean, there's only one way to find out and I really hope that you want to do this journey with me. Please like and subscribe if you like this kind of content and let's jump into the casting of Frank Stone. Is this like multiplayer option and single player option? I'm not really sure, but I, I, I guess I, I want to die alone. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Yeah, it seems like it's a single-player story. Okay, difficulty. Choose your path. Observer, survivor, or sacrifice. Okay, let's go with survivor. I don't know how much that will affect the story at all, but uh, I guess it's like equal to a medium option in all games. Every choice made. I've sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power, infinite in knowledge, voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him, Frank Stone, my key, my killer. I am Augustine Lieber, and I'm about to change our worlds forever. God, what's going on? What is going on? Is this a monster? Oh, dude is gonna get whacked. No, is it a dog? I hope it's a dog. Got a crying baby. If that's a dog, it doesn't sound like the most friendliest one. Sounds like a freaking monster. <laughs> Jesus. Dead rat. Disgusting. Oh, the cops are arriving. Oh, you are screwed now. The burning mall. 
Sedar Steel Corporation. Oh, so this is a steel corporation. If you were somewhere Wakey Pakey! Oh! The cops are here! Hide the stash! I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you? Covering the entire site? Oh no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Of a manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? A dog. Doberman Pincher. It was Best his dog. fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. Hmm. Now we get to choose. Okay. Um, I need to ask you a few questions. I need to ask you a few questions. I'm yours to dispose of. Can I have your name? Thomas Jefferson Holt. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. Tom, I want to talk to you about... I know it about. That missing boy, right? That's right. You think he could be missing here? This mill looks a big place. Biggest in all Cedar Hills. But that don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. Sounds like a lot of ground to cover. Can I check your records? Maybe? You sound confident. And rightly so. Can I check your records? No records. The logbook, visitors to the mill, out of our shifts, that sort of thing. All right, right. Uh, well, gotta be here someplace. Is that it? Uh, it's okay. Allow me. I see. Mm hmm. Been drinking, huh? Been drinking, Tom? Just a little nightcap. Been drinking, Tom? Nightcaps usually happen before a nap. This a regular habit? Regular, oh no, not regular. More sort of medication, taken only in time of need. How often is that? And what you come out here for? To give a veteran a hard time about his medicinal practices? No. I'm here because a child is missing. And every minute wasted is another chance gone to find him. Boy, you ain't gonna find him here. I'd know it in my bones if that boy were within a mile of this mill. All the same, I'd like to take a look around. You want to do my job for me? Be my guest. He feels suspicious. Thank you for your help, Tom. Happy to oblige. He feels suspicious, somehow. Let's hope the dog won't bite our ass. Bite our ass. <laughs> Can't even speak right now. Alright, find a way into the mill. This is a massive place, by the way. So I guess that's gonna be a challenge. But, um... I guess we can look around here. I 
don't want to climb over those wires. I will end up cutting my balls or something. No entry, staff only. Okay, it's locked. Of course. Find another way around here. Maybe... An open window. I can get in through there. Well, that's the way. <laughs> Climb up, you athlete. <gasps> Look at that. Who wants that? Huh. Merlin. Does it. Okay, he's he's calling for his dog Merlin. I thought it was someone else first. Now where is the missing child? Keep on going here. Okay, squeeze ourselves through. Ah, yeah, you can do it. Tuck in that belly of yours. You can do it, Mr. Athlete. This game looks amazing, by the way. Really amazing. I, I love games like this. They are really nice. Let's open this door. Hello? Any kids around here? I don't know if I should investigate the shelves. Maybe I can find some clues. You will not, I missed that. What did it say? You are not able to return? I don't know what's going on. Let's go in here. Here's the door. Can't open it. Okay. Wait, here's something. Oh, we can grab and pull it out. Here's something. Huh? What do we got? So, employees' personal record, date employed February 4th, machinist, criminal record one charge, assault, robbery. Uh-huh. And nothing on the back. Okay, let's place it back. A male employee got his job thanks to an endorsement from a Dr. Lieber. Okay, so here we got something. You will not be able to return to the area. Never mind. I think we need to uh, keep moving ahead. I need to find the missing child. Somewhere. Massive place. Massive place. Okay, let's go this way. Hello? Anyone here? It's police. Police! Get your hands up in the air and surrender to me if you want to. Can we climb up here or something? I don't, I don't know. Should we go this way? Oh! What is the deal with breaking light bulbs in horror games? I. Oh, they always scare the shit out of me. Great simple jump scares. Let's take this door. Open it up. Hello. Who's there? Okay, so there is someone in here. Most definitely. Can we go around here first? Sounds like it's coming from here. Ugh, smells like death. Can't be a good sign. Can't be a good sign. Hey, mister. That's Officer Green. Sure. 
You haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Ugh. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. Got a little too <sighs> up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. <laughs> Ugh. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. Your ass. What's it smell like? Your mama's ass. Nothing good. So we have something smelly here, and apparently the creepy dude seems to enjoy it. So. Uh, Merlin. There, you there are we one. have Merlin. We wondered where you got to. <gasps> That's not a nice doggy. Come here, boy. Dag name it. Dag name it. Sure would have liked it if you two made proper acquaintance. Oh, what is that? Oh no, don't touch it. I don't want to expect it. It's a piece of Intestines. What are you looking Can you for? Put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? No. Oh boy. It's a human ear. Look at that, will ya? Oh. You're in trouble, big guy. You're will in you trouble. Look at that. That damn dog. Blame the dog. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? There's no proof it does. But what if, do yourself a favor and park that thought. Because all your guesses so far tonight have been way off base. Uh, are, are you kidding? Aren't you going to arrest him? I mean, there's, there's literally like a human corpse here that fell out of a bucket. And you're not going to arrest him? Is this a joke? Go straight through it. Mm, mm, mm. Lovely old dish. You can eat that for tonight. Maybe. A late night snack. That uh, human ear looked crispy. That sound? Well, that's probably Stay death. behind me. Probably death coming right towards you any second from now. Do we really want to have this dude behind us? I don't trust him. So, what is this thing? The grape? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Huh. Find something to pry open the grate. Aha! Uh -huh. We need to find something to open this shit. Like what? What are we looking for? Are we gonna bend it up with something? Probably. Like a... I, I don't know. Like... Oh! Like a pipe or something. Metallic pipe. Can we take these? No. Oh! There's a crowbar. Gotcha. Is it a crowbar? Yeah. Let's use that one. 
Some items can be kept and used later. Okay, but we can't pick up anything else right now, so we just need to open the grate right now. Come on! Use your parkour skills, my friend. You're doing good. Move your ass. Old man, I don't trust you anyway. Open it up! Let's find the boy! Okay, use items. That's a tiny crowbar, Stand by back. the way. It looks ridiculous. <coughs> Press repeatedly before the time runs out. Oh! So these are like typical things you're doing when fighting the enemies as well in these kind of games. I'm sure it's the same in this game. I'm sure. Behold the gates of hell! Hmm. Alright. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. What? Where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know. I got a feeling. And it's not a good feeling. Hey. I'm gonna need you to take this too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh boy, I don't know. Don't trust sure, him. He's a little pick me up right about now. now that's the last thing you need. Well, gee, thanks, Doc. I'll call you in the morning. Take some goddamn responsibility for once in your life. Excuse me? I think you heard me just fine. Hey, I didn't ask for this. I was just doing my job. You had your dog doing your job for you. Maybe we should have piss him off. Pride. pride? I'll show him I can do my own dang job. That's all I ask. You got angry with Tom. Fate changed. Interesting. I hope it's changed in a good way. Easy fella. Don't break your leg down there. Find a way to the furnace chamber. The furnace chamber. What a shitty hellhole. But I wonder who lit those up. I mean, there's like torches in here. Furnace excess, so it's this way. Someone is engaged in strange rituals in the hidden areas of the mill. What kind of rituals? What? All right, so uh, this way. At least I like it that we have signs. I hope I can trust this them. This has got to be it. Yeah, I guess. I sure hope so. Hello? Once again, this game is so cool. I love the atmosphere in this game. I love it. I love it. But I don't like this place. I don't like being uh, here all by myself. This place turns my stomach. Exactly. Exactly, but still you're here all by yourself and you just handed over the evidence you had to that man that I don't trust. Bad idea. Bad uh, idea. Uh, goddamn small spaces. Mm-hmm. 
They are terrible indeed. But you actually choose uh, walking down here, so... Uh, can I go in there? Should I check this place first? Squeeze yourself through. To succeed a skill check, press when the pointer is inside the success zone. Skill check, what's that? Oh! That's a skill check, okay. So so I, ma I, I made it? I did good? That went so fast, I barely knew what I was doing. Okay, we got a door in there. But, I mean, there's... Oh, furnace success. This way. I was right about to say there are no signs left, but there we have one. Like, sent from above. Beautiful. Climb. Okay. Yeah. Let's climb. This looks like a hot place. We must be in the right place, my friends. That's the baby! That's the child! Crib. Shit. Who was that? So the ramp or the ladder? I guess we take the ramp. It's closest. Don't hurt the baby! Whoa! Oh! That was close. What the hell is that dude? We got a Terminator from Wish here! Shoot his ass! Oh no! No, no, no! No, no, no! He's gonna beat our ass! Stop! Come on, shoot him! Use to aim, press. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm aiming on you, boy! I'm aiming for a uh, mouth shot! Come on! Oh, that was right. Okay. I couldn't aim for the mouth for some reason. Boom! Bam! Shoot him again! Cool! Oh, he's strong. He's strong. Get your ass back up there. Grab the gun. Mm. That hurt. Oh shit! Oh shit! He just pierced us through the pipe! Shit! Oh. Come on, 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 you can do it! Drag it out! Pull it out! There we go! God, that's gotta hurt! You freed yourself from the pipe. Thank God for that. Oh, boy. Don't touch the child. Don't do it, boy. It's, in the, it's another dude here as well. It's some, someone else here as well. Come on. Grab the gun. Grab the gun. Quicker! Oh shit, shit, shit. Yes! Oh shit! Yes! You shot Frank Stone and saved the child. So that was Frank Stone! Holy 
Holy shit! Oh my god! We pierced his whole entire Sweet chin up! Motherfucker. Oh my god! We pierced him so badly! Now he's ending up like a barbecue pig! stopped Frank Stone. Oh. New character. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. What's up? Oh boy, so we... Okay, okay. I'm not really sure who this is. If this is the actual main character, maybe it is. But we woke up from some kind of nightmare. Huh? Who, who was that? Was that us? Hello? None of this is right. What? Who is that? That's a really gothic glass. You like the dark stuff, don't you? Well, this is what you get. This is what you get. This is what you get, little fella. Okay, things are turning out. What the? Way much creepier right now. Oh, gosh, I don't want to go in here. I don't want to go in here. It's an internal loop. This is an in eternal loop of something. Now we're out? Oh, the house is gone. Oh no. I mean, the place lights up where I walk on it. It's like lava. This is really cool. It's really cool, I must say. But I don't like what what might be upcoming. I don't like creepy woods. Squeeze yourself through. The camera angles in this game is pretty cool as well. Aha. Uh -huh. Is this a TV? In the middle of the forest. If we start this one, is it going to be like the ring tape on it? We're gonna get cursed forever. Only one way to find out. Turn it on. Mom? Mom? What's was it wrong? Our, was it our mom? 
No, 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 no. That doesn't sound like our mom. That's a demon voice. I'm here. Everything's all right. Bad idea. That was an ugly bomb. Jesus Christ. That was scary. That was scary. What was that? It's ugly. Sorry. Nobody knows. Nobody sees. Nobody you can do this, Maddie. Just, just stay on the right side of the road. So your name is Maddie. Left. Oh, watch out! Watch out! Is that a hitchhiker? Seems so. Drive or stop? Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, uh, stop! Stop! Is that a bad idea? You shouldn't stop for hitchhikers, but... I don't know. I hope she's nice. It's a she, isn't it? <clears throat> so, uh... You need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Who gives a shit? So, <laughs> do you mind giving me a lift? Right. Sure. Of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh. Weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way. Uh, guess not. She's not very friendly, isn't she? <laughs> Fate change. You choose to pick up the hitchhiker. Yeah, I hope it was a good option. I mean, I don't know. I, I just want to be nice. Trying to make the right decisions here in life. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um, where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon, once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. I just, is she getting more nice now? 
What do you do for a living? Classic question. Okay, so what do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? Prostitute. I'm a Kitty. filmmaker. I travel a lot for film shoots and festivals and all the other usual Hollywood bullshit. <laughs> oh, wow. I heard that's a real tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard to keep. <laughs> had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well, I've had to work real hard to get where I am, but I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. <laughs> Come on. You don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film career. You'd be surprised. I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Mmm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. She's like... <laughs> what was she doing? Get a hold of yourself, Maddie. Hey. Take a look. Mm, nice castle, almost. Oh, someone oh, turned off the, the lights? The rainbow. Did someone turn off the lights? It's all dark now. In the house of darkness. That's pretty suitable. This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, it is. do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, I... doorbell. Just kick the door in, will ya? Do a cool entrance. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. So both Hello? of you have booked Anybody appointments home? here? That's pretty weird, isn't it? It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? As I said, no kick it in. Is it? Kick it in. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown up. So are you, Maddie. <laughs> you're a grown up. <sighs> you think you're a kid? Here we go. Apparently. Beats me. Hello. Let's take a look around. Um, hello. We've arrived. Look around and find Augustine Lieber. Augustine Lieber. Is that her on the painting? What's this? Shitty box. With nothing in it. Looks like a puzzle. Maybe we're gonna solve that puzzle later. Not really sure. But this place is damn creepy. Holy shit. I, I don't know, should we... Should we go up, maybe? Upstairs? Let's go upstairs. A game of chess? I do not want to play that because I don't even know the rules. I can't play chess, so uh, it's a bad idea. P 
piece of paper. Huh. Aha. Well, even I could play this. A survivor's theme by M. <laughs> so you could play that. Better find yourself an instrument then. Here's a... Can we keep that? No, I, I guess not. We couldn't keep that. No? No, just inspect. Okay, put it back. And let's keep on walking. Yay, let's go up here. Can we open the drawers? No. Let's keep on walking here. can open this door really digging these creepy cottage core vibes definitely this place is creepy indeed here's a piano are you gonna play it do you play um a little beautiful Whoa. Crazy, right? Uh, yeah. Chat? You've sure. seen a real secret passage before? It's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors. To allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. She's not even surprised. You got some of these in your house too, huh? Secrecy is a privilege of the rich, You're stolen rich, from bitch. the rights of the oppressed. Okay. She's so used to it. She's already that rich. I wonder what she does. I mean, who she is. And the thing we played on the piano, was it the notes that we found on the, the letter? Must have been. Must have been. Are we really supposed to go down here? We, 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 I, I guess we shouldn't. Well, at least this was a cozy place. That's something positive. We got something. What hmm. the hell is that? Kid must have had a creepy doll on their Christmas Relic list. Relic found. Two of twelve. What do you mean two of twelve? Did I find something before? What the hell is this? Ah, put it down. You stay there and think about what you've done. Jesus. I'm glad we didn't keep that. Brr. This seems a bit more lively. Yeah, I mean, it's not a creepy basement, so... Is the rich bitch following us, or is she on her own now? I don't know. Let's open up. Open up the door. Oh, well, now she's with us. Ah, oh, we got someone over there. Ah, ladies. Ah. Hello, hello. Welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here. So. <laughs> yeah, um. Same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. Short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name Lexington? <laughs> what? Midtown. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. How do you know? Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Uh, okay, let's go with... Casual? Um, have you been waiting here a while? For more than a minute and less than a lifetime. Is that long? Well, it certainly felt that way until you arrived. The front door was unlocked, so I wandered around and made myself at home. Till I found a way to really make myself at home. 
Aren't you gonna say hi to my friend? Isn't it kind of weird there's no one here? I mean, we were invited, right? Ah, yes. Well, one could write a book on all the incomprehensible complexities of British hospitality. Many have, in fact. Oh, Stan, this is... Lynn Da Castle. I am such a huge fan right of Right about work. time. I, I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, is she okay. famous? Uh, sure. Bruno Stanford III. At your back end call. Only if you call me Stan. F you, <laughs> Stan. <Sure>. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> wow. He's so weird. I didn't realize you were like famous, famous. Famous construct, and I'm not. Oh no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon, transcend it. Blood on the brain, mandatory. Forgotten flesh, I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss Castle, you are the quintessential countercultural cinematic icon of our times. I appreciate the kind words. I just didn't expect them here. Wow, so you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no, I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry, I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope, just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, yeah, so you'd she not was be flattered. nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host, wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. Look around while waiting for what Augustine do you do, Stan? Leader. Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. Well, nothing illegal, obviously. Oh, obviously. Okay, let's see. The Epic of G Gilgamesh. What's this? A bit of light bedtime reading. Tablet 5, the slaying of... Humbaba, my friend Humbaba, guardian of the forest, grind up, kill, pulverize, and destroy him before the preeminent god in Enlil hears, and the gods are full of rage at us. What is this? So they have marked the text at a few places. Weapon, let them all before us, the work, blah, 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 blah. Okay. I'm not up for that right now. Maybe for bedtime, but not now. A book attempting to illustrate to Norman how acts of violence, blah, 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 blah. Didn't get to read that at all, as always. <laughs> Am I too slow or is it too quick? The locked door. We need to find some other clues, my friends. Here's the cabinet. Let's open it up. And pull it out! Huh. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Dare you murder enter mill. The murder mill. Okay. Hey, either of you heard of murder mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait. This is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements. Like... What? Who? 
the government when they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Huh. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> oh, here she is! Right about time. Good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes. And speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie it is. Yes, Maddie. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. Grab some booze, That's Maddie. To remember. And who are you? I Ellen DeGeneres. call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Yeah, let's go with a drink. Or should we? No, let's go with a drink. Sure, yeah. I'll just have whatever Stan's having. Of course. And you? I accepted Augustine's no, offer for a drink. I think you may like it. Never had a drink in my life. I don't plan on starting now. Then it's right about time. You negative piece of shit. She was kind of pissed off now. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. Your drink. Thanks. You okay? Yeah, no, it's... That's one of those glasses. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but... I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. I. I, I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. I don't you. trust her. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing... All in due course, Ms. Castle. We 
We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Of course he didn't die. Of course he didn't. You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. Oh, I need to tap repeatedly. Oh, am I a different character now? We're playing as someone new now. All I have to do is betray my own sister, and you will let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! Is he acting or was it what is he doing? I'd rather rather die. Okay, die! You bad actor. Fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. He's screwed what now. <laughs> is he acting or pretending or what? What is going on? I hope this is not a bad cut scene. <laughs> no, he was oh, acting. That was amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way! Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little. You gotta play to the cheap seats, I made. That's where the money is. Brad. Chris is happy with How do we acting. do, Linda? Was that the acting was, was like shit. Uh, let, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s. Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting. Not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. 
You're fired! And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. Or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Someone is pissed off. Uh, defensive. Uh, okay, defensive. Let's go with that one. Of course. Chris, you're the director. But, like, part of the job is working with people you trust, and I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions, and then we can see which way works better in the edit. Yeah. And it'll be my Let's way. Do that. Because I'm the director. <laughs> Hold still. Let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth it. You guys want me to leave? Go, yeah, all yeah, right, yeah, all yeah, right. Yeah. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. Get a room. We're going again. Okay. Sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. We're going to do it again? All right. Everybody settle. Oh, no. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh. <laughs> Fuck. No. Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff. Right. Sorry. Oh, How many times sheriff. have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. Mr. Stan this is back. is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you... Miss Castle and Miss Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. <laughs> what a smile. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Let's go with that one. Sheriff Green, sir, with all due respect, we almost got this thing entirely in the can, and if we don't get our last few shots here in our main location, we're gonna have to scrap the whole thing. Then you're just gonna have to scrap the whole thing. Oh, Stan, come all on. Right, then arrest us. What? Arrest us for trespassing. Uh, Linda. Linda, come on. I know I'm just Robert's dad, but I'm still a cop. And you gotta start taking me seriously. Because you really, really cannot be here. Why do you care so much? I thought it was abandoned. Yeah, it's not like we're looting the place. It's not safe. Just go home. But we've only got like three more little scenes and then we're done. Well, I don't think you're gonna be doing any more filming today. Not with that. You broke the camera. You messed up. You messed up big the time. The hell crawled up his ass. Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. The camera is screwed anyway. What you gonna do? Get your asses out of there! There we go. Sir. Now don't you try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. Yes, sir. Oh, 
Oh, it was at the Steel Corporation. So this was before everything happened, I guess. Cool beginning. Listen to good old punk music. You crazy teens. Oh, what a complete and utter disaster. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Oh. Who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. Oh, so it happened to <gasps> him before? you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would, Linda. Tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. What do you think he was up to? What do you think he was up to? There has to be a reason for him to kill a bunch of people, right? There was never any kind of confession, so they don't really know for sure. Someone somewhere's gotta have some idea. Well, we could always just ask Frank Stone. Huh? Crystal ball, Ouija board, what will they say? And Miss BB's hotline, the dead are just a seance away. Okay, okay. <laughs> I called Miss BB once. I tried to speak to Mary Shelley. But Miss Beebe thought that was my grandmother, so she kept going on and on about eating enough cabbage soup. <laughs> Did you get a recipe? Oh, damn. Then again, maybe it's better not to dig up old bones. If it's ancient history... Mm, people don't really like to talk about it. You do get reporters asking around sometimes. It really rubs people the wrong way. Once Sam Green became sheriff, that all died down anyway. What were the reporters asking about? What exactly were the reporters asking about? I don't know. They're reporters. They just want to dig up dirt. They had to have been on to something if they kept coming back. Stop being what? so curious. Just forget about it. Everybody around here has. Except Sheriff Green. Fine. If you guys aren't interested in filling me in, I'll find someone else who is. Okay. 
Good luck. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. <laughs> Someone is pissed off. What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? You want a piece of me? Um. <laughs> Howdy, partner. <laughs> Howdy, partner. How's lap on the range? Did he hit his head or something? The hell's wrong with you? Uh, Let's piss her off. Sorry. Ugh, why is dad such a demanding asshole? I came home to help, not do everything. I mean, I'm not a maid. Do I look like a fucking maid? You better not say I look like a fucking maid. He's just worried about mom. Psh, more like he's worried that as soon as she croaks, I'm out of here. And then he'll have to be his own fucking maid for once in his life. That's pretty harsh. Jeez, Bonnie. That's pretty harsh. I don't mean it's not true. Well, maybe you should cut him a little slack, you know? This is hard for him. And me too. Yeah, well, you didn't have to put your whole life on hold and come all the way home from New York City and suddenly play mom while your own mom is sick. Families first. I know. I didn't have to do all that. But I would have done it, just like you, you know? Because family comes first. Family comes first? Is this an after-school special? I'm trying to give you a compliment, Bonnie. Ugh, whatever! I, yes, I gotta get out of this house, like, pronto! Why so pissed um, off? Um, so Bonnie probably could have been a good person to ask for some money to fix the camera. She gets art and stuff. Hey, maybe we don't need Bonnie after all. Wait, Jaime, seriously? I'll be her back later. No harm, no foul, right? I don't know, man. Steal! Let's steal it! Shh. I just want to go on record and say that I do not condone film financing that has been derived from ill-gotten gains. Okay. She'll thank us when she's making those sweet tens or even elevens of dollars in profits when this thing blows up. She'll get over it. If you say so. We should go get the camera fixed before she comes back. I'd have taken Stole more. Stole money from Bonnie to fix the camera. Oh, Jesus. You all right there? You're looking a little, uh, wiggly. I'm fine. It's just, uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh... You don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... Yeah, any time! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Looks sure abandoned. Disney shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Let's go to the curiosity shop. Why not? I certainly am curious. Regarding said shop. Ha! -ha! Yes. Good I get one. It. Lead the way. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques and we hit the jackpot check out the wares oh cameras uh these look like they've seen better days 
We're not gonna put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still out the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Hello? We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please. Come She's the inside. owner. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. What happened to her face? Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Could it have been in... So we're gonna investigate this weird store. Really looking forward to that, but you know what? We're going to do this in the next video. I hope you enjoy this game so far because I really do. It's really, it really feels like being like in a horror movie. That's why I love this cinematic game so much. And so far, I think it looks amazing. So I'm really looking forward to diving further into the story. And I hope you <laughs> do it as well. And I hope you want to jump into the next chapter with me as well. Um, I don't know if it's just third chapter I, I think it was the third chapter doesn't really matter thanks for watching smash like button subscribe to the channel and i truly hope that i will see you in the next one take care bye bye